Hey gang, I just redid my shelf. So I wanted to make a video showing it off, give it a little more close up. So first, my little back display wall. We've got each of the major campaign settings. Uh, Blackmore, I don't know, never got well, sort of a proper box set, but there's World of Greyhawk, The Gazetteer, Ravenloft. They're kind of in publishing order as well. Dragonlance, Forgotten Realms, Spelljammer, Dark Sun, and Planescape. And then the shelf itself uh, is sort of organized such that um, each of the additions is across the top two shelves, except for fifth. So here is, starting with Chainmail, we've got OD&D and the supplements, Holmes, Basic, Molde BX, and then the back me, I just need two more boxes. Uh, then we've got the Rule Cyclopedia, and we've got first edition AD&D, um, and then we've got these sort of original covers, and then the Orange Spine one, second edition, I don't have many, or any really of the black covered, so sort of redo of it. We've got a little bit of third and fourth edition stuff. A whole shelf of fifth. So this is all the sort of core books, starters, and like accessory books. Um, and then this is all the adventures themselves. Uh, I think there's one or two new ones that I haven't bought yet, but otherwise I've got them all. I've got all the box sets that I have under that for the most part. Um, and then there's several like module displays. We'll get into those in a second, but these are all the accessory books for the different campaign settings. I used to have the box sets kind of bookending them, but they're just sort of all together now. Starting with Blackmore, Greyhawk, Ravenloft, Dragonlance, Forgotten Realms, uh, Al Kadim, Birthright. And then those are just sort of like AC things, put, you know, character sheets, stuff like that. And then the rest are modules. I've got the Goodman Games. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six down there. That wasn't really a good place to fit them. And then Dark Tower, the sixth, is going to be incoming soon. These are all the, the basic modules. So these, here's the B series. B, one, two, three, four. And for all the modules, I also printed out little tiny one inch module covers. So it's a, in the shadow, you can't see it that well, but in person it reads. So for the ones you can't see the cover art of because they're behind something else, you can kind of at a glance, see what's there. So there's B, one through, you know, whatever, 12, 11, 12. The expert set of books. Uh, Masters, Companion, I don't have any Immortal books. And then sort of the rest of the basic ones. There's the Dave Arneson, not a couple of them. And then Quest for the Silver Sword, the sort of reboot basic stuff. And the rest of it is just first and second edition modules. So the first shelf of them are, are kind of specially ordered. They're just sort of in publishing order. So here's the G series and it's compilation the d series i've got both monochrome and colored covers q and then uh, the s series so two horrors and then the rest of them are pretty much alphabetical so here are this is the a series the slave starting with the slave pits of the undercity uh the c series starting with hidden shrine of however the hell you pronounce that tamoachan Got Lankmar, the Dragonlance. This sort of the core Dragonlance. I don't know whatever it is, fifteen or so. Or uh, that goes up to maybe ten. And then uh, all the other ones from like second edition. We've got uh, the Dragon Qu DQ by uh, Janelle Jaquez. The EX ones. The so I don't have a ton of Forgotten Realms modules. There's you know some in there, but. Uh, don't have a ton of those. 
uh, whatever that one was, and then kind of comes back over to here. We've got the Bloodstone H series, uh, the Challenge series, I. Ravenloft being the most famous I book, so yeah, that that comes first. Uh, and you know, Desert of Desolation is a pretty good one too. L for the little Kafka books, the N books, Oriental Adventures, Ravenloft, uh, Red Sonia. It's just kind of chilling over there. We've got the T series, Temple of Element of Evil with the homlet behind it, uh, the U series, UK, and then all the W ones that kind of ran out of space, so they're all packed up. Uh, Vecna is a pretty famous one. Um, Vecna lives. So there's the the W series of books, and then the back part of that is like when they stop doing letter codes. It's just kind of the miscellaneous, non letter coded modules. Just little module covers for uh, down there. So that is largely it. I've also got a bunch of novels in here. So here's my collection of Dragonlance books, starting with, of course, Chronicles. I printed out little tiny nameplates for each of these uh i have i don't know a half or a third there's like 260 of those books i've got the, the comics down there so a couple of the graphic novels uh, some just other miscellaneous D, &D stuff a couple of the uh the gary gygax books a couple of r.a salvador books yeah there you go i won't, I won't get into uh all the minis, <laughs> but the, that's got a pretty cool setup too. A little tiny catablupus, little tiny um, 3D printout, like nameplates for them all. So there we go. There's uh, the latest of my Dungeons and Dragons collection. Thanks for watching.